What's going on everyone? So today's episode is actually going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to be jumping in here on the computer and we're going to be talking about how to make our own customized tokens for our virtual tabletop games. So whether you're using Foundry Virtual Tabletop, Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, or Fantasy Grounds Unity, this will apply to you. Also, it's going to work across all different game types, so whether it be Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Pathfinder, Starfinder, this is going to work for you, so stay tuned to the rest of the video. Now, we're going to be taking some artwork, whether it be your own personal artwork or stuff that you've made or stuff that you find on Google, and we're going to be able to create these really cool customized tokens so that way we can really exemplify your player character's, well, character, as opposed to having those like silly generic fighter you know, tokens that you have in all the virtual tabletop space. We're going to make something that's actually going to help you identify the character and actually give it some, you know, oomph and make and elevate that experience for your players just that much more. Now, if you have any questions as we're going over this, make sure you leave comments down there in the comment section, but also I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Link for that Twitch stream is down there. And I'm gonna answer all those questions that you have, all those burning questions about whether it be Roll20, Foundry Virtual Tabletop, how to plan out your first session as a dungeon master, or just some general campaign prep and just bouncing ideas off each other. Cause in all honesty, the best Dungeons and Dragons is ones that are kind of collaborative and actually um, you guys will help me prep my own games and that will help you prep your games. And I feel like that's a really good way to kind of also cut your teeth as a dungeon master. Now, without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump into making some tokens. All right, everybody. So in order to make our own custom tokens, we're going to come up over here to rolladvantage.com slash token stamp. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our own tokens here, like we were talking about before. Now you can actually change things about this. So we have this like normal generic border here for the circle. We can actually have some other really cool looking ones. I'm actually going to choose the one that kind of looks like our Wizards of the Coast standard kind of grainy looking one that we like to use. Um, I say we, that they like to use. <laughs> it's not we, it's not me, <laughs> it's them. Um, so I've got that really cool like red little uh, grainy background there and then we can change the background color of the token if we want to but I'm just going to leave it the way it is because most of the tokens that I'm going to pick out of here are already going to have a background to them. So that's okay. We can also add, uh, we can change the text color and add a text box so if we have multiple monsters that we're going to be utilizing we can actually number one, two, three, four, whatever the case may be. I'm actually just going to delete that because I don't need it. Now let's go ahead and choose an image. So I'm going to pick... Um, I actually pre-downloaded this Drow Rogue, and I'm just going to stick him in here, supersize him. Boom, there he is. We come over here. That's the token preview. We just need to hit download. It'll bring it in here. And then, boom, there's your token. You can save that, upload into Roll20, Foundry Virtual Tabletop, whatever the case may be. That's as simple as it gets. Now, places that you can find token images. You can go on the D&D Wizards um, website, or you can do just a quick Google search. So let's say we want to find a... Really cool looking dwarf wizard. Now keep in mind that I don't own any of these images and neither does Wizards of the Coast in a lot of cases. They might actually for some of these. Um, but I'm just gonna look up a dwarf wizard. Um, let's say we got, yeah, let's take this guy. This guy looks pretty cool. It's a dwarf wizard and we're gonna save him to the desktop for now. You can save him wherever you want, wherever you wanna store these. I'll download the image and then we just come in here. We can actually choose a different image. Find our dwarf wizard. It'll replace the image we have in there. And then now we've got this really cool dwarf wizard in here. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You can find artwork for your home games, whether it be on Google Images or anything like that. You can find it on, um, like they said, the Wizards of the Coast website has some really good ones. Um, you just come into dnd.wizards.com. You can actually utilize a lot of the, uh, if you go into gameplay character sheets, there's a lot of the images from these guys here. In addition to those basic character sheets, there's actually these press assets, what I like to use. Um, because they do have some really cool ones in here. So if we go into Tyranny of Dragons, it's got some cool cover. I'm not going to open up the zip file, but that's something that you can grab. Uh, you can also get some really cool wallpapers and stuff like that if you want to come into the wallpaper tabs. Uh, they've got a bunch of stuff there. They've got some comics. They've got a bunch of different things you can kind of utilize for your home games to just kind of use um, as like methods and ways to kind of create your own tokens. Because there's some really cool artwork here for Wizards of the Coast. Now, um, with that being said, uh, that's basically a quick and dirty tutorial on how to make some tokens. And that's actually gonna end our tutorial on how to make those kind of custom tokens. I know that was quick and dirty, so if you guys have any questions, be, feel free to contact me, whether it be via the comment section or come on down to that live stream. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Twitch, the link's down there. Come over there, I'll answer any questions you have, whether it be on this, and like I said before, D&D, Dungeon Mastering, whatever the case may be. Um, also, I've got some other tutorials on the channel for how to use Foundry Virtual Tabletop, uh, Fantasy Grounds, uh, uh, Roll20, they're all around here somewhere. And then also uh, make sure you subscribe because it, I mean, also helps me out. But also, not only that, I've got some other cool stuff about D&D and uh, there's going to be more cool stuff coming out for the channel here in the future. So, hope you guys learned something today. And until next time, happy gaming.